welcome to my channel chemical kinetics 32nd question for the decomposition of dimethyl ether a in arrhenius equation k is equals to a into e power minus e a by rt has a value of 1.26 into 10 power 13 and e a value of 58.5 kilocalorie calculate the half life period for the first order decomposition at 527 degrees centigrade these are the given options According to the question, arrhenius factor A is equals to 1.26 into 10 power 13. Activation energy Ea is equals to 58.5 kilocalories. We have to convert this into calories, then the activation energy will be 58,500 calories. The given temperature is 527 degrees centigrade. We have to convert this into Kelvin scale. That is, the temperature will be 800 kelvins. They ask us to find out T half for the first order kinetics. The formula is 0 0.693 by K. Here K is rate constant. In order to find out T half, we have to find out the K value first by using logarithmic form of Arrhenius equation. That is, log k is equals to log a minus e a by 2.303 r t in this equation we know the value of a e a t then what about the value of r here the activation energy is in calories so the r value is 1.987 by substituting these values in this equation we can calculate the value of k. So log k is equals to log a. A value is 1.26 into 10 power 13 minus e a value is 58,500 by 2.303 into 1.987 into 800 now log k is equals to this is in the form of log a b so you can write it as log a plus log b here b is nothing but 10 power 13 okay? log 10 power 13 minus on simplifying this value, we will get 15.9799. Okay. Now, log k is equals to log 1.26. Its value is 0 0.1003. I am considering only 0 0.1 plus log 10 power 13 okay log 10 value will be 1 so the answer is 13 minus 15.98 okay i just round it off to 15.98 now log k is equals to minus 2.88 we have to find out the k value right so there are two ways to find out the k value first of all if you have a scientific calculator go with this formula that is log x base 10 is equals to y then x is equals to 10 power y right apply the same formula to this one then you'll have k is equals to 10 power minus 2.88 so k value will be 0 0.0013182 okay this is the way if you have a uh, scientific calculator with you what if you have an anti-logarithmic table instead of scientific calculator if you have anti-logarithmic table with you then log k is equal to minus 2.88 right k is equals to anti log of 
माइनस टू पॉइंट एट एट बट वी कैन फाइंड द एंटी लॉग वैल्यू ऑफ ए नंबर विथ अ नेगेटिव साइन फॉर दिस वी हैव टू डिवाइड दिस नंबर फर्स्ट माइनस टू माइनस टू पॉइंट एट एट वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस राइट बाई एडिंग दीज टू वील गेट माइनस टू पॉइंट एट एट नाउ कीप इट एसाइट नाउ जस्ट फोकस ऑन दिस नंबर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट एट एट नाउ एड वन टू दिस वन टू दिस जीरो पॉइंट एट एट देन यूल हैव जीरो पॉइंट वन टू इट्स अ पॉजिटिव नंबर राइट वी कैन फाइंड द एंटी लॉग फॉर दिस नंबर एंटी लॉग ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट वन टू अकॉर्डिंग टू द टेबल इट्स वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट वन थ्री वन एट बट वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ माइनस टू पॉइंट एट एट राइट सो वी हैव टू कंसिडर दिस वन नाउ हियर इट इज टू माइनस टू राइट सो वी हैव टू डिवाइड द नंबर विथ टू जीरो वन हैविंग टू जीरो If you have if you have minus three, then you have to divide it with three zeros. Three zero number that is thousand. If you have minus four here, then you have to divide this num divide this one with ten thousand, right? So this is the value of k. What is the k value here? Zero point zero zero one three one eight, which are almost equal, except at eighth digit, right? Right, so I'll consider. I'll I'll just round it uh, round it up. And I'll write. I'll take k is equal to zero point zero zero one three two. Substitute this value. Substitute the value of k in this equation. Then we will have t half is equal to zero point six nine three by zero point zero zero one three one. One three two, right? Then our answer will be five twenty five seconds, right? This is the answer. Thank you.